Welcome back, everybody. It's Cape Rugby TV time. We carry on talking about what's happening with the club rugby. Well, of course, the under-20s are busy gearing up for the uh, Curry Cup later in the, the year. Uh, we are still floating the camera around, trying to bring you the uh, latest information on club rugby and what's happening at Western Province Rugby. And, of course, the, as I said, the under-20s are uh, in action, uh, or at least are preparing for action. We know that a lot of them... Of course, I've just come back from the Varsity Cup and a number of the players have also been um, uh, in the uh, uh, called up to the uh, SA under 20 squad. So that's really good news. And we thought we'd go down to the High Performance Center and catch up with the boys behind the scenes. <laughs> No, totally different. I mean, like you said, there's so much, so many more guys out here. We get to push ourselves and really test ourselves, you know, against the best in the province, you know. So it's a really good uh, opportunity. Big step up as well. You know, everyone wants to put their hands up to get into sort of contention to be selected. And it just makes everything more competitive. And we love that. We live for that. So, yeah. Yeah, it's only beneficial to us, you know. I mean, they come with so much more experience, um, just so much more understanding of the game. And me as a youngster, I just love, I live for that because I learn grow more as a player and it just makes everything better again. Yeah, I mean, just jumping into it is, is difficult. Uh, it took take some time to, to, to get sort of accustomed to the tempo, the physicality, the way everything goes. Um, early in the year it was tough, but I mean, I think we're making a good shift. I think all the youngsters have been shifting properly, adjusting. And yeah, we're getting there. It's such a good learning and growing environment. You know, there's so many people played SA schools, junior box. You know, so many people that you can learn from people that played in the Varsity Cup, people that have won Varsity Cups. You learn from all these guys, good coaching staff as well. So we're learning from it and it's just a good growing environment. Yeah, like, uh, like I said in my other interviews, is I'm just excited to be back. I think a lot of people like um, like think about it the whole time and can't wait to be back, can't wait to be back. But the thing is when it happens, it's actually so real, you know, because it's been a whole year sitting down in lockdown and not, not doing much. I mean, you can only, there's only so much things you can do in terms of fitness. It's just, it's, it's so exciting to be back. I feel like we're one of the, the few privileged people in the whole country that can say we are back and, and uh, we're fully ready because we get tested every single week. So it's just, it's just, it's a blessing to be back. I couldn't say more than that. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's so real because a lot of us, as you said, we've played before in so many provincial teams together. I myself know a few boys that, that, that I played along uh, under 19 Curry Cup with, so it makes it easier. But I think more uh, the goal for all of us all is we're all in the same province. I think that's what makes it the, the easiest part of it all. We know we have a goal to work for. You know, we're working hard to, to obviously try win the Curry Cup. I mean, that's the end goal for all of us. But uh, at the end of the day, like you said, we all come from different backgrounds, all come from everything, but everyone understands each other's story. Uh, me personally, my story, a lot of people understand that now, now they know me, so it makes it easier for a lot of people to relate to me. So I feel like it's a, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole, it's a whole unity. Instead of uh, club player, instead of different university player, it's a whole unity because we all come together with one goal in mind, which is obviously to win the Curry Cup. So once again, it's just a privilege to have um, so many people from different universities. I mean, there's so many boys that you can learn from. I mean, from the Marches, obviously they play the Varsity Cup. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of players can, uh, can learn a lot of things from us, from the Shield, you know. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot of individuals, but as together we come, we come together with one goal. So it's always a blessing. <laughs> It, it makes it for me personally it's all about the, it's a learning curve so a lot of coaches do things in so many ways but for me just having being in a professional environment and having ex Springbok players and uh, ex um, coaches that coach for used to coach for Kenya I mean we are, we are privileged not to have uh, Jerome work with us in the varsity shield so he got us kind of ready for that intensity um, in case we get an opportunity like this to just to represent the union or just to take part in, in what is so called uh, a trial period uh, it's just it's just a blessing man it's just really it's really nice getting to learn from different coaches from like you know Extreme ball players, like you said, different coaches from different uh, different varsities. I mean, the bigger varsities in what we are. So it's just it's, it's a learning curve. But the, the most important thing is it's, it's a bit nervous because you know, hey, it's a big coach. If you make a, if you make a mistake, he's gonna he's gonna be on your case and be on your case. Make sure, but it's it's a learning curve, and it's it's just good to be back.
yes, uh, just to be in the competitive space again is, is, is something that they were looking forward to and they're really enjoying the, the physical presence, making contact and just stepping out there. Yes, yes, you don't need to uh, focus a lot on conditioning now at this time because as you mentioned, most of them came from Vasily Shield, Vasily Cup, uh, because uh, there's a lot of senior guys within the group mix with the junior and the 20s. They didn't add a junior Vasily Cup, but at least most of them were involved in senior Vasily Cup teams. Yes, uh, there's a provincial under 20 carry cup and then there's a senior carry cup as well. So most of the senior guys will be involved in the province senior setup and that under 20s will be involved in the provincial under 20. I think that's starting around uh, end of July. The, the thing with that is that we need to, to, to bridge that gap now within this year. That's why we play so much warm-up games and to get them uh, contact ready because it's a merge of two age groups. The group uh, that played uh, their second year out of group that's turning 20 and a group that's first year out of school turning 19. So uh, the two groups uh, uh, together didn't play a lot of rugby because 2019, 2020, it were uh, COVID 2021, we were hit with still in a COVID uh, pandemic and there were no schools rugby last year so uh, the, the the merge of the two groups together getting them game ready and uh, contact ready and decision making ready is, is it's quite a challenge within itself and I think that's where you need to spend most um, a lot of time on the training field making a lot of contact making a lot of decision making and I think we at the point where we we, we just need some game time getting the guys out there as you know that provincial uh, club rugby in western province only started late and uh, we, we just need game time each weekend and, and the more you train and the more you can make contact at training the better but COVID don't allow you to make too much contact. Yeah, it's, it's always good for, for players to have uh, guys with experience around, but it, it, it's all about how you, 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 you interact and how you, you, you put what you want out of the player through and, and setting it up. And that's sometimes a challenge within itself to, to, to just go out there and, and, and make them understand that it's not about I want you to play the game the way I did, but I want you to understand that the game didn't change a lot. It's just the momentum, the intensity and the physical presence that changed, but it's always the same thing that the ball needs to go from the one side to the other side. And if we, be able, if we know how to do that, at the end of the day, that's how rugby is supposed to be. Uh, just by uh, preparing well and, and, and doing well as a unit and not as an individual. It's good to see our under 20s in action of course they're gearing up now for the um uh, for the curry cup that comes up later in the year and also good to see how many of our under 20s have made it into the um into the sa squad and of course a lot of the players back now that the uh, varsity cup is finished so that's that is a really fantastic right folks well as you know on a weekly basis we take a look at uh, what's happening at mchem 24 hour pharmacy well, we've had some nice weather over the last few days, but nevertheless, winter is here. And of course, as you know, well, as many of us believe, along with winter comes the flu. Well, if you have uh, any need for a flu vaccination, of course, all the uh, opportunity is at MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy. They've got a batch of different flu vaccine strains at the pharmacy, and you can get down to MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy um, uh, to get your flu vaccination any time of the morning between 8 a.m. in the morning and 8 p.m. in the evening, Monday to Sunday. So seven days a week, MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy. And the fantastic thing about it, as I've told you before, is that there's no booking required. You can just walk straight in and ask to get your flu vaccination. And of course, if you're not sure about how the flu uh, works or the flu vaccinations works, which I think is a very important thing to understand, is that uh, MCHEM, of course, have got a number of nursing sisters on duty at MCHEM that can help you and give you some very good advice. 
And of course, um, that's what we need at a time like this. We need good advice and good guidance, and that's what you can get at MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy. I love the convenience factor. I love the fact that you can just simply drive into MCHEM, park in the parking lot, which is of course free, and right at the doorstep, and just walk straight in to MCHEM and ask any one of the helpful staff to help you um, with whatever it is that you need. And of course, in this case, getting the flu vaccine and someone is there um, to help you uh, uh, straight away. So that's really fantastic. Um, and of course, the good advice. Folks, uh, we'll take an ad break. When we come back from the break, we'll carry on taking a look at what's happening in the world of club rugby. Back in a sec.